Lovely has an atrial septal defect. That's a hole in between the two upper chambers of the heart. The problem is that the blood that should go out the left side of the heart is moving into the right, creating volume overload, which stresses both the right heart and the lungs. This defect doesn't cause an acute sudden death episode, but what it does do is create an inability for a child to play normally, last all day in school without stopping to take a nap. This child gets fatigued quite easily. She can't keep up with her peers. She's clearly different than everybody else. Over the course of decades, it could limit your life expectancy, but by fixing it now when she's a child, she should be able to read a relatively normal life. Okay. Here, if you, can you focus on this picture? This is a shot of the two upper chambers of the heart. The LA stands for left atrium, and the RA stands for right atrium. And this here is the atrial septum. The septum is the wall in between the two chambers. You can see here an absence of the wall. So this white line stops, and then it picks itself up again over here. And this is the defect. In a heart like Lovely's, there is a big hole in that atrial septum, which we have to reconstruct with a piece of pericardium. This is an actual picture of such a hole. You're looking in the right atrium through this hole into the left atrium. And this is the hole closed with a patch of pericardium. Um, you can see here that this piece looks a little different than the rest of the wall, but over the course of several months, that'll all endothelialize, and you won't be able to tell the difference between the patch and the normal atrial tissue. The operation to fix the hole in Lovely's heart will take about two to two and a half hours. She'll go to sleep very gradually. We'll have to put the body on the heart-lung machine because we have to stop the heart and the lungs in order to do the surgery. We'll take a piece of her native heart sac, it's called pericardium, and use that to reconstruct the wall in between the two chambers that has the hole in it. She'll then come up to the intensive care unit afterwards. She'll recover. She should go home within two to three days, and I expect to be back to her normal self within about two weeks. Well, helping any child helps their whole family and quite a large number of people. But in a situation like this where you know the child has nowhere else to go, it does have a different kind of a meaning.